Hey, it's Ty here from my home in the Hollywood Hills, and you are here because you want to learn how to read a book like this in 10 minutes. You're here because you want more money in your bank account, you want to be healthier, you want to be happier, you want to find love. Oh. Everything you need in life comes from a mentor. Wax on, wax off. And the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to get the best people in your life as mentors is through books. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any books? Hold on, let me check in the system. The system says yes. Everybody had a mentor. Bill Gates had a mentor. Warren Buffett had a mentor. Even Jay-Z had a mentor. Einstein had a mentor. If you want a mentor, you could go out, you could get on the phone, call Bill Gates, say, hey, you want to be my mentor? These are the busiest people in the world. The worst time you could have called, go away. For hundreds and hundreds of years of the human experience are available to us in the easiest place ever, books. But what's the reason most of us don't read like we want to? There's no time to explain. We're just overwhelmed by the thought of you know sitting down and slowly going through a book. But what if I could show you something? That you sit down for breakfast in the morning and 15 minutes later, you're not just done eating, but you're also done reading. That would be awesome! So just imagine this. If every day you could download into your brain all the knowledge from these amazing people, from these amazing books into your brain, imagine what would happen. I can guarantee you this. You'd make a lot more money, you'd have better health, you lose weight, you'd be a lot happier. That's unbridled enthusiasm. That's the power of what I'm about to show you. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. It's the scary part over. And I was lucky enough when I was a teenager to learn a few techniques, a few secrets that allow me to go 10 times faster than the average person and more importantly, to remember what I read. This is a superpower. <laughs> Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, two of the richest men ever in history, said if they could have one superpower, it would be the ability to read faster than anyone else. Warren Buffett reads eight hours a day. What? Bill Gates reads three or four hours a day. Go on his blog, you can see all the books he's reading. Whoa. With just a little bit of guidance I'm about to show you for free, you're gonna be able to read a book like this. It's not gonna be hard. It's easy and good. I have no idea why people don't learn this in school. It's kind of a tragedy of modern education. I taught school for 20 years in the inner city, so don't even think about messing with me. The first and the simplest way to read a book in 10 minutes a day is guess what? Have someone else read it for you. Read book summaries. Another thing, I read a book a day and I have a free uh, a club, book of the day club that you can be on I'll send you an email every single day with a book summary. You could just print it out or read it on your phone, spend five or 10 minutes a day, and everything you need to know is right there. I kind of look for the key, one amazing thing in each book. You can see yourself kind of like a gold miner. What's that one thing that's gonna make my life amazing today? So that is the simplest way, all right? Now, I'm also gonna show you the advanced way where you can read a book yourself in 10 minutes. I just picked a random book. This is one I haven't read before, but we're gonna go through it together. It's called The One Thing. Here's what I do. Here's how I start. The biggest myth and what's holding you back the most from reading a book in a short amount of time is you bought into the lie that you should read a book from start to finish one time. Get that out of your mind. You can do that with some you know, novel that you're reading just for fun, but when you're learning, you wanna get in the mode that you're gonna minimum go through every book at least three times. So when I come to a book like this, the first thing I do is my really fast kind of skim of the book. And when I say really fast, I'm talking one or two minutes. What I'm looking at, I'm kind of pretending I'm a detective. I'm looking at the cover, the inside of the jacket, the back if there's anything, and I'm looking at the uh, table of contents. That's about it. And believe it or not, sometimes um, everything you need to know is in that first skim. Because remember this, Here's the problem with books. Most books only have one or two good ideas in them. But in order for them to sell you this book and you not feel ripped off, they have to fill it up with a ton of words. So most books are not worth reading word for word. There's 120 million books published in the world. 
you don't have time to go through them. So what you want to do is see yourself as someone who's like a gold miner. You're just looking for the one piece of gold, two pieces of gold, maybe three. I try to only take away really one thing. So just imagine this. Who do you think will have more benefit in their life? Person A, who reads one book a month really slowly so that they get every little word. Or somebody who just takes the best golden nugget of knowledge out of 30 books in a month. Trust me, the person who reads and just extracts the 30 books is gonna know way more than the one. So, when I'm reading this, I'm not getting caught up. I'm like, okay, the jacket. I already know from the cover he's basically saying you should do one thing with your life. He says you want fewer distractions, less cl clutter. I read the table of contents. A lot of times the table of contents literally tells you what the book's about. He says that there's lies about being focused. Everything matters equally, multitasking, disciplined life. He's saying all these are a lie, okay? He's saying the truth is something about focusing, success, and the path to great answers. So I can tell already what this guy's trying to say. Extraordinary results, okay. So I've read that. Sometimes I will read the very first chapter because a lot of times they put the best stuff in the first chapter, all right? Remember, this is like, uh, not like when you're a little kid. You can eat the dessert first. You don't have to eat the vegetables and all the part you don't like, okay? So I might read this first introduction kind of word for word, the first one or two pages, okay? That took me maybe two minutes. So now I just start again. Come back to this book. This time, I'm gonna go into the actual chapters of the book and I'm gonna just read the first paragraph or so, all right? Maybe the first page, especially of the first chapter. And I'm literally gonna just kind of flip through it. Domino effect, all right? One person, one passion, one skill. I get the point, the guy is basically saying, focus on one thing, and then the lies. This is especially easy in self-help books, which is awesome because I recommend everybody should be always reading a self-help book because if you want a better life, you might as well read, you know, read a book about how to get a better life. I'm looking for things that maybe I want to come back and see again on my third pass. All right. Now, I want you to literally understand that at the beginning of this, you're going to walk away from a book and felt, feel like, man, I didn't really get that much. You're going to be like, Ty, it didn't work the first time. Don't worry. Don't panic. You're actually training your mind to know how to focus. So it's going to get easier. So again, you go through that second time and you're just reading a little more in depth and that takes you five, 10 minutes. So the first pass took you maybe two minutes, the second pass, five or 10 minutes. We're just looking kind of power skimmy. Now, when I'm done, now I come back. Sometimes on that second one, I'm, I'll mark the pages, things that look interesting. Then I come back the third time, third time is a charm, and I look for those specific areas that I had maybe marked. You know, in this book, as I was just passing it here, this domino thing seems interesting. So I'm gonna kinda go to the end of the chapter. I like to look at the end, cause usually they'll summarize what they meant. On the third pass, I'll actually read like a whole paragraph word for word. Just important ones, okay? See, it's funny, like I told you, this guy, he had to sell a book. No one, if this book was three pages, you wouldn't pay 20 bucks for it. So his publisher is like, hey man, fill up the pages, fill up the pages. But really, everything this guy wanted to say in this book, he probably sat down a few years ago and wrote out right here. You can see, he's saying, what's the one thing you wanna change? Putting the one thing to work. Man, actually, you could read this book in two minutes. Just read this. Now again, some of you might be going, hey, well, I'm not gonna get enough, I want more, I like to read more. Don't worry, read the 10 minute version of it, then put it on a stack, and if you ever have some time leisurely where you got an extra hour or two, come back to the book. Remember, we killed that lie that you're only gonna read a book once. I've got lots of books, hundreds, thousands of books in my house, and a lot of them I go back to. I see books as a reference guide. I get them in my head, and then if I'm struggling, let's say, this book, I got it in my head now, it's downloaded. The basic concept, the power of focus, that I shouldn't multitask, that trying to be overly disciplined is not as powerful as just focusing on one thing. I got that in my head. So let's say there's a time in my life six months from now where I'm struggling with focus. I know this book, 
I go pick it up and I'll read it again and I'll get a little bit of different knowledge each time. So, super important. I hope you see the power. Pass three times. One time really fast, table contents, book cover, maybe the first chapter. Second time, you're skimming, trying to get the main pieces that you're gonna come back to. And the third time, you read it uh, selectively, but more in depth, all right? And then you come back to it a couple months from now when you really need even more info. Now, I've showed you how this you know, special technique, this skimming, this speed reading, whatever you wanna call it, different people call it different things. Um, the next problem for most people is they read the wrong books. Here's my recommendation. You need to pick and choose what you read as much as you pick and choose who your friends are or who you marry or who your business partners are. These people are gonna get inside your brain